All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I have here today, which I've already gone ahead and cut the box open, but what I have here is the Falcon Lowrider. It's a seven foot medium action three piece rod, um, comes with the case. Uh, all the specs for the rod are written kind of nicely here on the outside of the case. Uh, I guess that'd be kind of weird if you wanted to use the case for something else, but they are there for this specific rod. Uh, when you open it up, it's a little hard to see with the lighting, but you can see there are three distinct little compartments there with this just cloth barrier in between them. And when you actually take the rod out, there's the middle piece, there's the top piece, and here is the handle piece. So you can see they're connected just like a regular two-piece rod would be connected with these just pushed together areas here. Um, first thing I'm noticing is these little sections right here look kind of off. Uh, you would imagine that this would butt up against this, but it doesn't, and it doesn't push together any further. There's literally just that weird little gap here, which, I mean, minor visual complaint, probably not a big deal at all. I'm sure it still functions fine. But yeah, you've got that same thing up here too. Just that weird little section. But I mean, other than that, I think the rod actually looks pretty good. You do have to make sure that you line these guides up here where the connection is. You have to make sure this one lines up with this one. Um, it would be easy if you didn't pay any attention to have them be like that or something. Overall, I do think it looks pretty good though. I really like this style of handle with having nothing here. Um, when I'm holding a spinning rod, I like my wrist to be above where all the weight is. Um, I just feel like it balances better that way. And especially if you're fishing with like a jerk bait or something and you want to twitch it, I feel like it is so much more comfortable on the wrist to hold the reel or to hold the rod up above. So I really like this grip on it. I think that's going to be very comfortable compared to a lot of spinning reel grips that, you know, end right here as opposed to having their grip above. So I really like this style of grip. You can also see here, um, all the specs to the rod as with standard with most rods, all the specs are printed right here above the handle. Um, the hook keeper on it is this style right here, which I'm actually a pretty big fan of. I, uh, I like hook keepers where if you wanna have tension on your line and just, you know, hook a back of a treble hook under this or something without having to put it through. Um, I know sometimes when you have to put it through the actual wire here, the barb gets stuck when you pull it out. So having the option to just slide it under here and then just remove it without actually having to pull it through any sort of uh, small metal gap, I think is pretty nice. Um, that's definitely gonna come in handy for quickly hooking and unhooking uh, lures onto this. One thing that stands out to me about this rod is the guides. Um, it says right here, it's got Fuji Tangle Free K guides uh, with phase light rings. Now, these are the exact same guides that are on a rod I already own, the Daiwa Tatula. And I have to say, I'm a big fan. One time I actually stepped on this guide right here and bent it about 90 degrees down. Uh, it was sitting on the bottom of my boat and I just picked it up and I bent it right back into place and had no issues. Um, there was no creasing in the metal or anything. It held up really well. Um, I like the phase light rings. They definitely cut back on abrasion. They're very smooth. Uh, but yeah, I'm a big fan of the guides. So that's a very good first impression on this rod. A negative thing though that stands out to me right away is the case. Um, you can see how big it is in relation to the rod. I mean, this is the biggest piece that has to go in the case and it is, the case is huge compared to this piece. Uh, if I actually hold them together, you can see all three pieces take out, take up about that much room. So it looks like you could fit about four of these rods maybe in the case. Um, definitely not a huge positive on a travel rod to have an oversized case in my opinion. I, um, I don't think that kind of flows with the whole idea of a travel rod. Uh, you know, I think a travel rod is supposed to be light. It's supposed to be easy to carry. And when you have a case that can fit like three or four of the rod inside of it. I think that's kind of a design flaw. Um, this is definitely gonna add a lot of weight and size when you're hiking with it or backpacking or whatever that honestly I feel is just unnecessary. They definitely could have made this thing in a smaller case. 
Um, that being said, I'm guessing the reason they did that is because this is the same case they use for multiple different rods. And for this one, they just slapped, you know, the low rider specs on it. Um, so to save money, they probably use the same case for everything. But I have to say it is definitely oversized and it does not need to be this big. Another thing that jumps out at me is the strap. Um, it looks pretty small. I'll go ahead and fully extend it for you. And we can see how uh, long it gets. But I mean, that is, that's not that long. That's a pretty small strap. I'm going to go ahead and sling this over my shoulder for you so you can actually see uh, what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so this is what I'm talking about. Um, you can see the strap is not very long. I mean, if you just swing it over your shoulder, you know, it fits totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. But if you wanted to do this, like for a, you know, a hike where you're maybe moving faster, or climbing over some stuff or whatever, trying to get to a hard to reach lake. I mean, this is super tight. Like I'm not a huge dude. I'm six foot tall. Um, I mean, and it's already super tight. Like I cannot imagine you would be able to be much bigger than I am and still have this thing fit. I mean, this is insanely tight if you wanted to do this. Uh, and the thing is, I know it's not, man, that is tight. I know it's not an issue to put it over your shoulder like this, but like I'm saying, what if, what if you're on a hike and you need to climb over some boulders or something, get to a hard to reach area, you know, maybe duck under some trees or something. I mean, that's easy to fall off. You know, you really want to be able to sling it over like this. Uh, not to mention if you had a backpack that you wanted to sling this over and have it kind of like, have a kind of ride above the backpack, you know? Let me actually put a backpack on and do that really quick. Okay, so I've put on uh, just an empty backpack. Uh, if you were like hiking somewhere and you wanted to take this, you know, the whole point of like a travel rod, um, your backpack would definitely have a lot more stuff in it than this. And as you're about to see, it is still, like, look at that. Look how little room that is. This thing is cutting off circulation in my neck. Um, if it was a longer strap, it could kind of slide down more vertical like that. Um, but as it stands, the strap is super tiny, so it's uncomfortable and it's on my neck right now, which you don't want to be hiking long distances with a strap wrapped around your neck. I know that's kind of a given, but yeah, basically the strap needs to be longer. They did not do a good job with the strap. It's way too short. Yeah, so let me actually show you guys the rod put together now. Uh, it's a seven foot rod. It's got like a brown tint to it. Uh, once again, I really like the handle. First impressions, I think it feels pretty good. Um, I like the amount of flex it has. It's a fast action and I mean, you know, when I bend it over like that, you can definitely see that's a fast action. But yeah, I mean, to sum up this review, first impressions, Really like the rod, really don't like the case. Um, you may think that's kind of insignificant, but I mean, the whole point of this thing is to be a travel rod. So the case is obviously a really big factor in that, and I just don't think they did a very good job with case. Though I do really like the rod, and I know cases can be pretty cheap. I think you can get a good rod case smaller than that, for about 20 bucks. So my recommendation for this rod, if you get it, would be Keep the case if you're just throwing it in your trunk or something, you know, keep it in your car. Or maybe if you have multiple travel spinning rods, you could probably put a bunch of them in that case. But if you're gonna actually be like backpacking or hiking with this thing, I would strongly recommend buying a new case. Uh, the case is just way too bulky, the strap is way too short, and it's just not gonna be conducive for a long distance hike where you want lightweight stuff. But you're definitely gonna see a lot of this rod in future videos, uh, so stick around for those. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.